guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Nika thank you so much for stopping in heart to heart it's not their fault you have to learn to accept that saying that it's not their fault if you're going through life right now you're hurting I understand someone disappointed you someone's taking advantage of you someone has stabbed you in the back someone has mistreated your trust Someone has misled you into believing that they cared about you and they didn't. Someone has done something to you that you deemed that was not fair, that was hurtful, that was cruel, and something that you hold on to and you hold these grudges and you expect that person to be held accountable for the way that you're feeling. And I'm here to let you know that I understand you. I was that person. I still am that person to a degree. And it's not fair. It feels like it's not fair and you have to be the bigger person to yourself mentally in order to move past that hurt, to move past that trauma. It, it does feel like, you know, you're just saying that it's okay what that person did, but really at the end of the day, it's not okay what they did, but you don't have the power to change what happened. First of all, you can't go back and change the situation. So that already is out of the question. So why try to fix something that, that you can't fix, per se? You, even if you improve the situation, you'll never go back and be able to fix the situation. So that's one thing. So when you're telling people your stories and when you're saying, you know what? This person did this to me. It's their fault. It's their fault that I, I'm choosing the life that I'm living. It's their fault that I no longer trust men or I no longer trust women. It's their fault that I don't want kids. It's my mom's fault for this. It's my dad's fault for that. It's this person's fault. I worked at this job and, and these, these employees, my coworkers, they did this and that's why I got written up and that's why I got fired or my supervisor didn't like me and that's why when you're in that energy and you're constantly looking at that person and this person and those people and you're not saying you know what everything that's happened happens for our own good and if we are so focused on what everybody else is doing we're missing the blessing we're missing the test so get out of that you don't want to be that person that's missing everything because you're so stuck on someone else someone else is the problem it's not their fault for how you're feeling. It could be their fault for what they did and that how they wronged you, yes. But how you feel, especially something that happened a year or more ago, how you're feeling is not their fault, it's yours because you have a choice to make. Every day that you get up, you have a decision. Am I gonna hold on to this or am I gonna go ahead and let it go? So if you're choosing to still hold on to it and still blame that person, you're your own problem and it's your fault because you're choosing it. If you're choosing to still be friends with those people, just choosing to still be in a relationship with that person, that's your fault. No one's forcing you to be there. Even a marriage can't hold you there. So if you're complaining and you're blaming and, oh, can I stand him? I can't stand her. I can't trust them. It's their fault. I'm just not happy. It's not their fault that you're not happy. It's your fault that you're not happy because no one can make you happy. That's something you have to do for yourself. Nothing outside of you, outside of your being, can make you happy. Not even God himself can make you happy. He gives you freedom of choice. And with freedom of choice means you get to choose what it is you want to do in life. And those decisions, those choices that you make, are going to have a consequence, good or bad. And then that's going to determine whether or not you feel happy or you feel sad. Or anything in between. So the next time that you, you start feeling like, you know what, this person did this, this person did that, I'm not happy because of them. I'm not happy because of my childhood, the way that my parents raised me, the way that my family was in my life. And whatever the excuse is for why you're blaming other people, you remember what I'm telling you right now. And you have a whole different look of things. Because I used to live in that prison of always trying to be victim and blaming everybody else so that I didn't have to accept that I was choosing to feel how I was choosing. To I didn't have to work on that part of me. I didn't have to fix it. I felt like it wasn't right for me to have to fix something that I didn't do. But you did. You participated in it with the way that you respond to it. 
So if you're responding and I'm going to just dis, I'm going to hate that person. I'm going to dislike him. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to blame him. I'm going to have harbor anger in my heart. Risk getting high blood pressure and having a stroke because I'm just so angry all the time. Risk not having love in your life because you're blocking it because you're spewing hate. Risk being happy with friends and, and building the life that you truly want because you're so bitter. It's you. You have nobody to blame. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, might, it may sound harsh, but I love y'all. And I, I'm in that same boat. I, I had to wake up and be real with myself and be hard with myself. Because that's the only way you're going to change if you be honest. But y'all let me know what you think. Drop your comments in the comment box below. Be polite and courteous because somebody like myself is reading your messages. And we're not here to bash anybody. We're here to just help each other grow and know that we're not alone. And if there's somebody who feels like you, someone who has experienced what you're going through or what you've been through or experiencing what you're feeling right now, you can leave me an email if you like. If you'd like to share it privately, I can talk with you with my email. Um, if you would like for me to share a testimony for you, I would do so. I won't put out any of your personal information. If you would like to talk about something, give me some title ideas. I'm open to that as well. We're all here for love. And we're family, we're friends, and I'm not here to judge you. Like I said, everything that I talk about on my channel is honestly what I've experienced, what I've gone through, my research. But usually, most of the things are going to come from personal experience. Because I don't like to really speak on things that I don't have any experience in. So let me know what you think. We will keep the conversation going and we will talk next time. Bye.